Hi Cancer, welcome to this reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs, though you might find it resonates more if Cancer is your Moon or Rising Sign. Oh, isn't that interesting? With me coughing my guts up before I've even tried to talk and the Ace of Swords, someone could be coughing up some truth to you um, over the next few days and you're gonna feel really, really good about it. Queen of Wands, it could be something you already intuitively know. And with the Seven of Pentacles reversed, you've been waiting on this. So you know this and you're getting 3D tangible confirmation and you feel like yes i knew this and i feel really good that i'm hearing it and i have been waiting to hear this for actually some time now ace of cups reversed okay so it can be someone here who was trying to hide their feelings for you in the past trying to hold feelings back it could also be let's say there's someone you you um are here for someone you are attracted to interested in have romantic feelings for love i don't know why i had to go through all the options you get it um and there's say another person or they were trying to move on to or to rekindle things with someone else and you were thinking that is not going to work you might find out that you were right um or if you were waiting for a third party situation to end <clears throat> or to know where you stand that's information you're going to get through yeah look at that two of cups reversed now we're not here celebrating and laughing at you know something breaking down for someone but i do see that you do feel quite good about hearing this and it's again it's not in a low vibrational way you're not pointing a finger and laughing not necessarily unless you want to but i feel it's it's almost like validation maybe it was very painful for you not hearing this truth and it's coming in so it's like it's a real confirmation it's it's really making you feel like i am seen i am heard i was not crazy i was not wrong um you know i felt out in the cold perhaps or ignored for a really long time and this just really helps um for my heart to feel healed you know Someone um, could have the initial M or W, that could be you or the person you're thinking of at this time. And also, you know, as I said, if it's not about any other kind of situation that your person's in, it's about the both of you. This two of cups reversed with the ace of swords. They either told you, what are you talking about? We're just friends, relax. Or they just kept their feelings to themselves. And maybe you even tried to talk to them about their feelings and you got nothing. And now you're getting the truth. They may even be surprised. I'm going back to the start when I just coughed for no reason. I was surprised. They may find that they're confessing all of this to you and they don't know why. Um, the new moon in Libra, all about balance. Karmically, maybe it's time for them to give back what you've been giving to them. So it's almost, it's coming out and they're thinking, what am I doing? You know, um, but it's happening. See, look, hanged man reverse. You've not got to wait anymore. Pisces energy here. So you knew, you intuitively knew whatever this was anyway. Yep, King of Cups reversed. It's something to do with feelings, love. Um, yeah, Three of Cups reversed. I'm seeing consistently the two strong messages. Either your person's in a dodgy third party that you knew was not going to work out and you find out it, it's ended. Or, um, and I suppose it could be and, but I'm, I'm feeling or they're going to come to you and say, you know, look, here, here are my very deep feelings that you already knew about. But for some reason, they didn't want to tell you about possibly because of a third party or maybe you were friends. And they don't want to ruin the friendship or they think, you know, other people will have something to say, that sort of thing. So an opportunity was missed in the past. So basically, I feel an opportunity here is coming back around with someone on your mind whether you want it or not let's see how you will feel about this how is my viewer going to feel about this returning opportunity ah very good the star you maybe have wished for this um hoped for this we've got aquarius energy here and look at the balance with the two cups hmm Ooh, page of cups so this could come with an apology um as i said this is something that feels very nourishing in a heart centered way here so it might feel healing as well to that sort of the most vulnerable, open, honest, sensitive part of you that maybe felt rebuffed in the past. We've got the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands reverse. So you might be ready to enter a commitment with this person, or you might be saying these feelings are nice to hear about. This communication is great to receive, but what about your mother, father, 
interfering aunt, uncle, your karmic, you know, there could still be someone here and you're saying, what about that situation? Because I'm very happy, you know, I'm very happy to hear this, very happy to hear from you about this, but what about this other situation? Okay, brilliant. So I would say expect some, um, I almost said music. <laughs> Maybe they'll they'll communicate with you through music, or they're a musician, or you are. Um, but expect some communication. I would say within maybe the next three days or so. Um, okay, let's move into money career. Okay, this this energy already feels a bit slower than the love reading we just had. Feels a bit more uh, heavy. Um, Okay, money and career, please, for my viewers at this time. What's going on? Money and career. It doesn't have to be and, it could be all. Page of Cups, the Tower reversed. We've got Scorpio there. Um, Six of Swords, Three of Cups, okay. Queen of Swords, the Moon, wow. More Pisces energy in the same row um, that we just had. The Magician reversed, Gemini there, and we have the Nine of Cups reversed. <sighs> okay, the Lovers reversed, more Gemini. There is a big decision um, that you might need to make soon regarding work, career, and or finances so if it's just say money finances you might need to make a decision to invest your money in something or um to rebuild part of your house or whatever it is and you're thinking is now the time if it's career i feel you might be getting an offer um and if you're not the one receiving the offer you might be thinking of no 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 that doesn't feel right i was going to say you might be the one making the offer it feels like you're receiving here and you're not sure if you should accept the offer you're trying to, you're doing the right thing in terms of trying to think about it logically and you're, you're tapping into your intuition. I think if you move forward with this, it will mean a big change. Um, I think it's coming from someone well-meaning, at least you trust them. Let's have more of a look into their motives, but there's, there's noise. There is noise around this offer. There are people around this offer who you might not trust or you, they might not seem trustworthy and this magician reversed when this is reversed it always gives me pause for thought because this to me often is someone who's pretending they're this master manifester creator transmuter of energy but actually they could could just be a show showman show woman so let's see the intention of this page of cups please towards my viewer knight of pentacles reversed okay the world reversed. Six of Pentacles. I I know you know. I almost wanted to say Six of Cups. I think this is someone you've known for some time, um, and even if you've known them maybe only months, you might have a past life connection, whether it's romantic or not. It doesn't have to be romantic, but like you get this feeling of I know you, I understand you, I, I resonate with you, I trust you, and I do think this is a solid, trustworthy person. We have the the Knight of Pentacles. Um, could be a Taurus with the world, maybe a Scorpio, but I do get a very earthy feeling from this person. Um, whatever they're offering, it's something they've been involved involved with for a long time, I feel. Almost like they started off as the fall and they've worked their way through all the major arcana, they've got to the world, the world is reversed. So whatever this journey is that they're on, they're not, they haven't 100% closed it out, but nearly. And this might be why they're looking to bring you in. Six of Pentacles, whatever they want to offer you, they want to divide it, it fairly. So let's say now, again, we're not just talking about career. Let's say we're talking about money, um, an inheritance or something like that. Someone is offering you something. And if you're wondering, is this fair? Yes, they are being fair. They are being honest with you. You are getting like 50% of whatever um, or your fair share. If it's someone trying to bring you in to a company or their business, they want to partner up with you or something, they are going to divide things fairly or the contract, you know, the clauses in the contract are going to be fair, Some something like that. But this is something that they have been doing or involved, they've been involved with for a long, long time. And I think the only reason we're seeing, say, a page of cups, not an emperor, is because 
I think they might be a bit nervous about coming forward towards you. There's a sheepishness here. There's there's a real openness of vulnerability in coming to you with this offer or this opportunity. So they're coming up as this page of cups. You're a queen of swords. So they do take you seriously, which is why they're coming to you with whatever this is. They know you're intelligent. They know you're serious um, when it comes to things like work, money. Um, you're also very honest as well, so they can trust you. Okay, that's very interesting. Um, okay, let's have a look at the moon with the tower reversed. If you're looking and trying to probe into the dark, you know, into the darkness of this, what's the catch or what am I not seeing? I don't want to bring disaster on my head. I don't know that there is anything. See, look, the sun in reverse. There isn't, there isn't really anything to see. If there is, it's only more good stuff. So as far as this opportunity in this person goes, that's a green light. I do want to jump over though and look at what this Three of Cups Magician Reversed energy is. It could be people around this Page of Cups person telling them you shouldn't do this, it's not a good idea. Why are you giving it to, you know, so-and-so, the viewer? Why don't you give it to Clive, Jane, Sarah, whoever, you know, whatever it is, they're talking, they're gossiping, they're not happy about it, um, but they, they're not going to be able to stop this moving forward. So let's see. What are they saying? Queen of Wands reverse. So these people could be jealous of you. Uh, yeah, the devil. We've got Capricorn energy there. Page of Pentacles reverse. They don't. They're, they're, yes, there are people around who don't want you to have this money or this opportunity. Um, they're jealous. They're very low vibrational. I don't think they're going to be able to stand in the way at all. Um, so I would, I would say don't trust them. I don't really feel that you're going to need to interact with them. The main person is this um, Page of Cups person over here. It's their offer to give and they've chosen you and you can trust that they're being honest with you. There's nothing that they're hiding here. Um, but yeah, there, there is some grumbling. Is there anything else you can tell us about this Page of Cups person? Yeah, Four of Pentacles reverse. They're being completely open with you. Do you know this person? The energy I'm getting from the feeling I'm getting from them is someone who is very uh, quiet, sedate, friendly, and pleasant until they're not. Until someone winds them up, and suddenly they turn into um, the King of Swords or the King of Wands or the Emperor, you know. And then they've got this sort of <laughs> this rage or this fire. So if these grumbling people try to cross the line, I think you're going to notice this page of cups person turns into, you know, like a car that turns into a transformer, that sort of thing. They they completely change. Because um, I feel there's a strength that's not overt with this person. They're not showy, but they have a lot to offer you. It's something they've invested in for a long, long time. And they're very steady with this Knight of Pentacles reversed, very trustworthy. They're not just going to run off with your money or anything like that. And um, very honest, very fair. 50-50 here. Okay, so let's clear this away and then let's have a look at the final part of the reading. Really, anything else Spirit wants you to know at this time? Okay, let's get back to this deck, I think. Okay, so Spirit, what other messages do you have for my viewers, please? What messages do you have for my viewers? Ah, look, it's the Emperor, yes. Wow, Aries energy here. Now, I don't know, I mean, we'll have to pull more cards, but that's very interesting. I was just talking about that page of cups, you know, how they seem like an emperor, but they're coming towards you as, as a nervous page of cups. Hmm, okay. Let's take these, let's go with this. Ten of cups reversed, king of uh, pentacles. We've got the seven of swords reversed. Oh my goodness, this is so connected. This is... I wonder, wow, it'd be good if I could get a full sentence out, wouldn't it? <laughs> Page of Pentacles, the world. This does feel very connected to the, the money slash career work 
section we just looked at. So if you skipped that because you thought, well, I'm not really interested, actually, after you've seen this, you might find that there are some messages in there for you as well, regardless of the, the money work side of things. Yeah, okay. As a, a general message, you have someone who is very established. They could be a business owner with the emperor. If they're not, if they don't own their own business, they've reached a very high position that's very obvious, well respected, and they want to make you an offer. I also feel there's a situation connected to this emperor person. It could be family. It doesn't feel work related with it being the ten of cups, not pentacles. That I don't know if their home their their home life, family life isn't so great or something like that. Um maybe this is someone who's in this emperor position because they've given all their time, all their energy to work. And that's what's that's what they have to show for themselves or something like that. So that's kind of this precious thing and they want to gift it to you for some reason because some ending has happened with the world. Like they're passing it over to you. Um if they're resigning, for example, they're recommending you to take their position, even if it doesn't quite make sense and certain people are unhappy because the page to the emperor is quite a leap. Um, so they could see potential in you here. If it's not, uh, it could be, if this is, say, your divine masculine here, this is someone who wants to make you an offer and they could actually be wrapping up an unhappy marriage or relationship or leaving some sort of a family situation in order to make this offer to you and people could grumble because you know it's like well that happened very quickly or for some of you there could be quite a significant age gap with the page and the emperor and it's like you're being foolish you're being taken for a ride this person just wants your money you know that you just want to be with this person because they make you feel young it's not going to last blah 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 we've got this knight of pentacles reversed again on the back um which we did just have. So this is a very stable person. They plan to offer you something in one way or another, someone, and I feel it's actually more than one person, a um, couple of people, a few people here aren't happy about it. Okay, let's see. Yes, 10 of swords reversed. Oh, the devil. Okay, we've got Capricorn energy there. If you did skip the career section, definitely go back and have a look at that as well. Okay, three of wands reversed. I think you might be about to find out a couple of things. Um, you're gonna find out something that makes you very happy. Um, this person who I feel is a big, is important to you. It could be in a romantic sense or in a career sense, maybe it's someone you really respect, you're gonna find out that they feel the same about you, which is great. And on top of that, they're making you some kind of offer, which I think you're going to want to take. And I think if you do, it will make you very happy. You're also going to find out though, who isn't happy about it. You're going to find out if you suspected, I think when I leave, those people talk about me behind my back, or um, I feel they may have been running interference between me and this person. You're going to find out that that's true. So whoever's in favour of you comes to light, whoever isn't also comes to light. Um, let's see the world. Eight of Swords. Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. So this is something that this person has thought about, this Emperor person has thought about for a long time. I wonder if this is even someone you haven't seen or spoken to for a while and they have been missing you. And the way events have, have gone, it just so happens that this is gonna be something that works for them in a practical sense and also reconnects you so they get to see you again and be close to you or closer than ever before. Whether it's romantic or not. Do you know what's confusing me here a little? And I kind of want to unpack it a bit more is that I think the Emperor and the King of Pentacles is the same person. And it's kind of curious to me that the Emperor is saying to you, I'm offering you something and other people know and they're not happy. Um, but at the same time, the emperor is still showing up as a king of pentacles to these people, which feels a bit awkward. I 
I mean, I guess if it's a position that makes sense because there would still be colleagues around that sort of thing that they would see. If it's not, if it's not work though, if it's romantic, oh, I wonder if it's almost like they've still got to talk to this ex because of children or it's not that they have a karmic in the way it's parents or children or something like that so they're still going to be someone's child they're still going to be someone's parent even though now it feels a bit awkward with those other people if you see what i mean because it's it's like this emperor is putting their foot down and saying i'm offering to you know you the viewer um and i know you're not happy about it but we still have to coexist in some sort of way okay so let's wrap this up with a card a bit of guidance, advice, something to maybe ponder. You know, it's interesting because for some of us we, we've just gone into autumn, for others spring and we definitely have endings, we even have the world you know and we have new beginnings so either way that's, that's interesting. We think of you know spring as beginnings and autumn as getting to winter and endings. Okay, so message please for my viewers. We have options. Yes, I mean, you're going to have options. It seems in love, um, an option to have another do-over or to just make some sort of a decision um, in money, work, career, generally. Yeah, options everywhere. Um, as I open to the abundant possibilities of my life's path, I'm reminded that I always have unlimited options. Life is a buffet and I allow myself to choose whatever makes me happiest without limiting limiting thoughts like you can't put mac and cheese on your baked potato. Why not? I mean, that sounds great to me. Um, so I think there's a message here in and of itself. The first thing, the abundant possibilities of your life's path. Even if other people aren't happy about this, it feels to me it's kind of destined for you. It's meant for you if you want it. So don't let people make you doubt yourself, especially if there's something like you're not the obvious choice. You know, um, the page stepping into the role of an emperor doesn't quite make sense. Or if it's romantic and there's an age gap, don't don't listen to other people. There's something about this being meant for you, your life's path here. Um, the other thing is um, you have unlimited options and possibilities so if you don't want to go for this or you don't want to go for it right now something else will come through for you and also you can you know in this buffet metaphor you could have whatever you wanted you could have you know your pudding alongside your mashed potato or whatever if you want to if that's what makes you happy so there could be something about this situation that means you're going to have to combine different lifestyles or you're going to carry on with something you're doing for work and career and now balance it with something entirely different, you know, but you're going to be able to make them work together. Or this opportunity, this offer, this moving forward doesn't quite look how you thought it would look with this person, but it's actually going to work out very, very well, even if it's surprising in the way it appears. Okay, so I'm, I will leave this here. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.